Hey guys, welcome back to another channel. Welcome back to another vlog. Someone asked me to do a makeup tutorial on the makeup I did yesterday. So, here it is. So, I'm going to go ahead, where is it? And be trying this new product, this Hollywood Flawless Filter by Charlotte Tilbury. That's a tongue twister. So, let's go ahead. I'm going to put this under my foundation. I'm going to use this as a primer. It's supposed to blur out. all your imperfections so we're just putting this on Yeah, these areas are, tend to be a little red and you can also use this as a sheer foundation I'm just clean the top off with my beauty blender so you could use this as a sheer foundation if you don't want full coverage because this is not full coverage as you will see but the thing I like it leaves your skin so dewy and I already primed it in my skincare routine before, so. Look at that finish, how glowy it leaves your skin. I'm loving this dewy look. Now, for my foundation, if I can find it. My favorite foundation by one size. I need to buy me another one because I am running low. I just put this everywhere. I'm using these two to brighten my under eyes and conceal. This one's made by Mario. I just put it where I mainly want to brighten. Then go in with my color. And now we're gonna set now we're gonna set the face with the powders. I'm back. So I'm going to use these two powders to set my under eye and my face. I'm going to use my beauty blender. I 
Okay, I can't find my powder puff anywhere. Look at that blur effect. And I just put it where I want to highlight. Okay, and then I'm gonna use the other powder to set using my powder brush. Look at the blurring effect it's giving. Oh no, my nose is peeling. I hate that primer. Can always go back in with the beauty blender and fix it. Now, I'm going to contour. And it's all about blending. So now I'm gonna speed up the video because seriously, it's just all about blending. For blush, I'm going to start with the color Raspberry by Makeup by Mario. And I'm just going to dab it up here. It is super pigmented, guys. Like, And then we get my Beauty Blender. Um, blend it all out and melt it with my contour. <coughs> and drag whatever is left up here. Look how beautiful that blends out. I like it as a foundation for my other blush. I do want to put a little bit more on this side.
There we go. Now it's the same as this side. Bring it up. Blend, 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 guys. I'm telling you. Blend, blend, blend. Okay. And now I'm going to go in with my cheek clapper. The color is fat ass. I'm only using the highlighter and then bury that. Okay. with the one size powder because I can see that just using the other powder didn't set them. Whoa, that's a lot. Look at that blur. Now let's set the eyes. I always like to use concealer to prep my eye area. Okay, we're gonna leave the rest of the powder because we're gonna be baking with it. And now that I did the blush, the highlighter, and now we're gonna do my brows and then we'll start with the eyes. We got one brow down. One more to go. I'm just gonna fast forward this part. Before we do that, I like to bake before I do my eyes. So I'm gonna grab my beauty blender. I'm just dipping it. Now 
And then I bake in places where I tend to sweat a lot. There we go. Let me just put this somewhere where my daughter won't grab it. And now we're going to go ahead and do the eyes using these two eyeshadow palettes. So the Tasha Denona Glam Palette and the Nudes, Warm Nudes by Makeup and Mario. So I'm going to start with the Makeup and Mario. I got in a fluff, fluffy brush. I'm going to go in with these two shades with a darker coffee color and then go in. And as I'm doing this, I'm starting to do the outer V since the beginning, even if it's a transition color. And then whatever color I have left, I drag it all the way into the inner corner. Same on this eye. And then do the outer corner V. Then what do you have left? Drag it in the corner. And then I'm going to go in with a rich brown. And concentrate it mostly at the end. And then drag it in. And then again do the V. And then drag all the way in. Okay, same with the other eye. I'm going to go with a more smaller brush and get a darker chocolate brown. Again, outer corner is where I want it to be. And then do the V. And then whatever is low, you drag it in.
Now I'm going to put a darker brown in the corner. Just to smoke that out. Only in the outer corner. And whatever's left, we drag. But you see how there's hardly anything left because it's all concentrated in the corner. See? Okay, and now for the high lid, I'm going to go with the Natasha Denona and the color inner corner and center eyelid. I like to make those two, this one and this one. I like to mix these two in the center corner of my eyelid. Oh, Kaylin's going to the mall and to the movies with her friend, baby. Where? Today at 10.30. And then blend the harsh lines. Film. There we go. And now the rest of the gang. I like to use the eyeliner. Oh, wait. I have a lot of fallout. Let's get the fallout out. mascara sorry I fast forward it like you guys only just see five minutes of me putting on mascara and now uh, I'm gonna go in with my tight water eyeliner makeup with Mario of course this is the only eyeliner I have found to last me all freaking day need is our lip combo I'm um, use the same lip combo I used yesterday but let's get this translucent powder off
Uh, I should just buff it in. And then lip combo that I used. take off my chopstick Okay, and then my favorite so far. And then I put this lip topper by Makeup and Mario in the color Mauve Glow. My setting spray by Charlotte Tilbury. Yes, I got the jumbo size because they don't have my one size setting spray. They sell out quick, so I went with the second best. Then I get my mirror. It literally melts all my makeup together and it leaves it super airbrushed so this is a finished look I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial on my look and I hope you guys like it give it a thumbs up subscribe and please feel free to you know share my page sharing is caring with that being said guys I love you so much and I hope you enjoyed bye